Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel and one of the most anticipated MPVs is now on my channel. This is the all new Suzuki XL7 Hybrid and I mean it's exactly the same since I just literally had a land out of the Ertiga Hybrid so check that out on my channel. FYI I will have a land out of this too very soon but this will be just a first dive impressions because why not? So buying this thing is still exactly the same. A one and a half liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine made, made it to a 12 volt mild hybrid system that produces 104 horsepower and 138 newton meters of torque. Made it to a four speed automatic transmission. So first impressions immediately with the ride. I mean it feels exactly the same like with the older Tiger. However since this being now the XL7 hybrid this has a much larger ground clearance at 200 millimeters and then a sploid. Which I don't mind it because I did love the performance of the uh, Ertiga Hybrid. And here, a bit of body roll. Okay, there's just not tight, uh, a bit more body roll than usual compared with the normal Ertiga. As I keep I'll mention uh, that it has a 15 millimeter increase with the ground clearance. But diving it in the farming I mean, fun like me, uh, it feels exactly the same. However, you know, being the XL7 Hybrid, there's a lot more upgrades than usual now. So you get new sets of LED lights too and I think these are new sets of wheels too if not mistaken apologies because I have not driven the XL7 in quite some time now and the same uh, cladding so in the side profile and at the rear too there's a lot more two-tone effects than usual now and the auto start stop function as every Suzuki reviewer do yes system yeah uh, very smooth the transition and overtaking in, in this is yeah, that's what I praise too with the what the older Ertiga Hybrid. I mean, it's an old black car. Right? This one's literally a brand new uh, vehicle by Suzuki Philippines. Yeah, feels pretty good. And comparing with the competition, I would say same cases here and there. Uh, this one is the peppiest one in its class. Yes, it's only a male hybrid system, but this one's in, just in tune for only the. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having fun uh, with the auto start stop function and two with the um, With some of the electronic bits here and there too Here you turn Okay, pretty good too Brakes pretty spongy, but again, it's pretty feels, feels exactly the same too like with the Normal Ertiga hybrid. Yes, the engine will scream a lot, but it's given in this category and humps I think this is just a tad more comfortable than the normal Ertiga hybrid yes despite the raise uh, a bit more ground clearance than usual now this actually soaks all the bumps and humps pretty well and actually the suspension is quite softer than usual now and yeah that's the, with it with the diving dynamics here in the interior I wasn't expecting this there's new materials here like here in the dashboard there's this like marble wood-ish material along with the silver twin it's a nice addition and it's not fingerprint magnet thank goodness with that uh, leather wrap steering wheel and then more leather here in the uh, center and then highlight of this is definitely the seats of this there's still some fabric elements however now leather all around it same too with the rear seats and another addition too in the second row you get a central armrest there's no cup holders however they're present on either side of the door which is a uh, pretty good compared with the Ertiga which is one of my biggest nitpicks a lack of uh, a, a bit of amenities at the uh, second row but for this uh, XL7 hybrid uh, then you'll mostly everything now and that's what I love to with Ertigas and XL7s too this mild hybrid not, cannot power the vehicle alone however it does make up with, with the performance and the boost of this remember this is this has a 1.70 kilowatt hour battery yes it's only very small it only adds like 3 horsepower and 15 newton meters of torque which is exactly the same but it still gets the job done and fuel economy i think this has been driven to uh, the whole day yeah easy 8.1 kilometers per liter without even trying and heavy footed uh, as you can see in this test drive hopefully when we get the land out of this let's do give a proper fuel economy reading because i'm surprised with the Ertiga hybrid despite again only uh, a mild hybrid system it's still one of the more fuel efficient mpvs that you can buy out there 
So yeah, that concludes my first dive impressions of this uh, XL7 Hybrid and I hopefully will borrow this very soon too and check out on how this really really dives. So again, I'd like to thank everyone here at Suzuki Auto Philippines here at the Auto Focus Test Dive Festival and to Sir Hi. To Sir Hein of Suzuki Auto Tagay, I, I need to visit their showroom soon. That's their new base. It's no longer the ones in BGC. So one more time. Right. So hope you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you with the land out of this and more Suzuki reviews coming right up. Bye-bye.